people that know me, I'm a pretty funny guy, you know, and I think, you know, a lot of people take things way too seriously and, and get offended super easy. And my, I guess my goal is not to really to offend, but it's to, to really get people out of their comfort zone. And I feel like, I guess that is kind of offensive, but I wanted to find a way to, to be in your face with this type of, you know, what I use every day almost as it could be a conjunction sentence, it could be a conjunction, an adjective, a noun, a verb. I mean, they're very diverse words. But, you know, I really feel I wanted to try and make it beautiful in a way. And someone who was naive enough to not know that there was a Whole Foods in Cambodia or Rwanda or even Compton, because I heard somebody at the show say, I didn't know there was a Whole Foods in Compton. But if you look at the socioeconomics, Whole Foods only exist in places that are either gentrified or, you know, very, very uh, becoming, you know? Now the humor and all of that was that, you know, people have started to carry these totes as almost a status symbol. So, I think we call them the wavy sculptures. I don't know what to call them. I didn't want to name them untitled. I feel like only professional artists do call it untitled. And the surfboards, I mean, that was just an experiment for myself. I, I really wanted to try this kind of marbleized painting. Um, I love surfing, just like the motorcycle paintings, and they really represent, I think, freedom in America. I... But if they're laughing to me, they're thinking the same thing. I'm just the first person to say it. So for me, being playful is just kind of just calling shit like it is, you know, and not trying to fluff it up, but having fun with, with things that, you know, may be controversial or offensive. You know, I say things in a funnier way. I'm not trying to take offense. I'm just observing and cracking a joke. If you're not uptight, you, you gotta just laugh at it because there's some truth to it. And if you can laugh at yourself, you can pretty much laugh at the world, you know? And it really was a time for me to play in the sense that you know, there was no client, there was no real agenda. I mean, Jordan was kind of up my ass with most of it, but for the most part, you know, I kind of was able to do whatever I wanted. You know, I, I wanted to experiment, and so playing for me is playing amongst different mediums and, and uh, I guess, experimenting. You know, my creative process is just by keeping my eyes open and going into things pretty open-minded as much as possible and, and definitely putting myself in uncomfortable situations. Being more well-rounded not only helps the work that you produce because, uh, you know, the, the age of communication and, and the internet and whatnot, you know, consumers are way more savvy. I would just consider myself a creative, uh, primarily because, you know, I'd like to think that I could approach anything. I think the more you expose yourself and stretch yourself, uh, the better, you know. And, this is probably one of the most challenging things I've done in a long time. I've been working for like 14 years, and I never really got back to just doing pure art just to do it. You know, it was always an outcome. It was always a, a client at the end, or there was always a means to an end. So it wasn't holistically a pure idea. Relaxing is a true luxury, you know, I think. Nowadays, you know, people work to work, and I, I look at work as a means to an end, and the true luxury is the freedom, right? It's the ability to relax and do what you want to do, and, you know, a Rolex is a symbol of commercial success, but also materialistic wealth, and relax and Rolex was this idea that chilling and doing whatever you want when you want is the new luxury.